Welcome back. The African uh, Union Special Representative for Somalia and Head of AMISO Mohamed Sidko has apologized to the government of Somalia and families of those killed three weeks ago during an operation in the Lower Shabele region. At the time, AMISOM has praised uh, the Somali security agencies and people of Somalia for working closely with AMISOM in the war on terror. Patrick Amimo has more. On 31st July 2015, while AMISOM troops were conducting an operation to flush out Al Shabaab militants in Marka, a port city in the southern Lower Shabele province of Somalia, AMISOM troops are said to have killed unarmed civilians attending a wedding party. This was after a roadside bomb exploded and hit an armored personnel carrier that was traveling through Marka town. The head of AMISOM has confirmed that seven civilians died following the incident and has apologized for the deaths. Three AMISOM personnel have been indicted and are waiting to be arraigned before a military judicial process. AMISOM has instituted a board of inquiry composed of military, civilian and police officers who are not from the contingent concerned in order to ensure impartiality. Human Rights Watch had early this month demanded an independent probe on the killings. Indeed, we have established that on that occasion, seven civilians died following an incident involving our troops. We regret these deaths. And I would like to offer sincere and profound condolences to the families of those who lost their lives, and indeed to the people and the federal government of Somalia. Where incidences like this happen, we do not leave any stone unturned. And we work very closely with the contingent so that any perpetrator that is found guilty about an omission, we still follow down to the, to the contingent to know what action has been taken. Amisom troops together with their Somali counterparts are involved in a tactical operation dubbed Operation Indian Ocean to ensure Mogadishu and other port cities are free of terror activities. Marka particularly is a place that is still very much influenced by Al-Shabaab activities and therefore that is why you hear quite a, a lot of incidents involving uh, uh, IEDs, ambushes, and as Somalia prepares for elections next year, AMISOM has lauded civilians and the Somali security agencies for supporting the war on terror. Territories are being liberated. People are freer to speak. Somalis, I will tell you, in the last operations, in villages, etc., are even coming out to support our troops. For even simple things like, believe me or not, people who don't have much water, sharing water, sharing cereals. Without the support of the populace of Somalia, we would not have come the far we have come. And we are working very well with the people of Somalia uh, in the way of giving intelligence, in the way of operation, in the way of supporting one another in one way to identify who is Al-Shabaab and in what way we can deal with them. The UN Security Council extended AMISOM's mandate in Somalia to May next year. But the exit will be strategic to ensure gains made against Al-Shabaab are not reversed. I believe the international community and the Somali federal government and the Somalis are clear that the pace has to be expedited now or fast-tracked. But you don't, you don't just win a military war and go. That wouldn't happen. Uh, it never happened anywhere in the world that, 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 I, that I know of. You fight, you degrade the enemy, in the case of Al-Shabaab, that's what you have to do. But you also have to win hearts and minds. You have to build capacities of, of, of a citizen of, of a country to take over. For now, AMISOM is building capacity of the Somali National Army and its intelligence arm. AMISOM has also intensified training of Somali police force to be deployed in liberated areas to ensure law and order and check crime. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.